Saddlers TV, bringing you closer to Walsall Football Club. Ian, welcome to Walsall Football Club. Thank you. Um, fantastic to have you on board. I know you're not a stranger to the club at all, but just sum up your emotions for us first of all. Yeah, excited. Um, generally, really looking forward to working with the team and with the with staff and going forward with the team, hoping to progress. You obviously come from Chester, where a few of our boys are on loan at the minute, but talk us about your first spell here. First of all, I know you came in for a few months under the Yeah, well, well, comes the end of my playing career, you got you realise that you've got to do something else in life and mm -hmm. your football can't play forever. So um, I had the opportunity to play at night at non-league and, and come and uh, educate myself really with, with Dean and uh, Rich for about three or four months, mm -hmm. uh, about 18 months ago it was now, and really enjoyed it. Loved how the club was set up, loved the way the, the players were interacted with and uh, it was a real eye-opener for me and I've lot, learnt a lot from it. You're obviously an assistant manager who was currently in a post at, at Chester as we say. How big a decision was that to leave under John McCarthy? Yeah, it was massive because Chester gave me the opportunity and I'd be eternally grateful for that but I'm an ambitious person. I want to I progress and I want to learn and uh, I want to get better. And I just thought I couldn't pass this opportunity up. What was the main attraction to Walsall? I know you know the gaffer John Whitney and Neil Cutler extremely well but what's the main attraction about the club? The way the youth is really, uh, the way they want players to progress through the youth ranks and it opens the first team and they give them a chance and I think if players want to come in and learn I, and I want to coach them and I want them to get better, I want time on the training grounds to make players better and uh, I think it's a perfect opportunity to do it. That's sort of my next question really, how do you sort of describe your style of coaching as, a, as an assistant? Um, I, I think the old school scream and shout happens gone now I think You've got to nurture players. You, you, you've got to get to know players. You've got to get to know what what makes them tick and and help them from there. And it's it's all about the players for me. It's, I'm in the background. I'm, I'm just there to, to to provide support when they need it. Uh, I think I've got a good background education in sport, in football, and I, I'm just there to help them push them on. Let's talk a little bit about your playing career. Uh, 500 league appearances, over 600 in all competitions. Yeah. How much did you enjoy the 18 year career as a professional? I loved it. Yeah, I love playing football. It's it's my dream as a kid and I'd, if I could do it for longer you probably would but uh, when I stopped playing so well I stopped loving it as much. Uh, last year I felt like my legs had gone a bit and I knew my time was up so I've been hammering the coaching now for three four years and uh, learning as much as I can. Um, as a player I wasn't probably the most skillful player but I definitely give it 100% and that's how I live my life really. Like so you want to make players better but what do you want to achieve during your time here at the club? Well, I'd love to see more players progress from uh, the great youth system they've already got set up into the first team and obviously the ultimate ambition is to get the club promoted, um, whether that be through the playoffs or automatic, but that's got to be the ambition. I wouldn't come here and just set up a mid-table. Um, I know the gaffer and, and cuts both want that as well and something we're looking to do long term. What do they have to say to you to persuade you to come here? I know everyone talks about the gaffer's character and I suppose it's important that you as his assistant has to get on with him, so how did that conversation play out? It just uh, we went for a coffee and we went for a sit down talk and we talked football, we talked life and I think we share a lot of views, uh, very similar. Um, it's like life is about enjoying it at the same time but we know when hard work starts we, we, we've got to knuckle down and do the right things but um, as I say it didn't take long to persuade me but uh, the club, the everything about it was just really exciting to be here. A few managerial changes last season, it seems to be a fresh approach this time around when you look at yourself being a relatively young manager, John Whitney's first year in management, do you think that that will translate out onto the pitch, your energy will come through and there'll probably be a, a bit of a different outlook on how we play? I'd like to think so, yeah, um, I just watched the youth team there, uh, beat Wrexham and well, it's the reserve team it was, but a lot of youthful players and the energy there was brilliant mm -hmm. and I think if, if the energy from the staff can transmit to players even more, the more, the more exciting the game will be.